Hello everyone, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and today we'll discuss about serverless. So what is serverless? Serverless is a software architecture design pattern that takes advantage of event-driven code execution and it's powered by cloud. And it can build massively scalable and cost-efficient application which composed of small discrete function without developers need to design for or think about the underlying infrastructure where their code runs and in today's episode i'll be showing you how to use that feature from amazon aws and we'll be deploying an angular application in fact angular universal application using that function so without further delay let's get started so first thing first to start with we have to uh, go to uh, AWS management console so if you don't have a management console so you need to uh, create a profile there so once you came to this management console you need to search with IAM so this manage user access and encryption keys so I will just add a new user for this purpose so let's a new user click on add user then I'll give a programmatic access attach existing policies directly so and I will look for this administrator access next I don't need to add any keys here and create user so it will not take much time and it will provide you an access key ID and as well as the secret access key so the next thing is you need to install the serverless uh, in your system to do that it's actually a node module so it's simple like npm install serverless and you need to install it globally so a g flag is required here uh, as I already installed it so I'm not going to install it again rather I will just move to the configuration part of it so the first thing like I need to configure it with this like I will write serverless config then credentials the provider is AWS and I have got my key here so this is my key I will just copy it and then I will pass a secret I will hit enter so uh, previously I have created a profile so it asked me to overwrite it so I will just overwrite it with a dash o so it's success so we are good to go now we'll move forward with our application so what I'll do I will create a new application here so let me move to desktop then with ng new let's name it serverless Once it is done, let open it uh, by moving into this folder and then open it to VS Code. Okay. So uh, this is the project I have generated as a bare bone Angular application generated through Angular CLI. Now the next thing is we will use ng toolkit uh, to convert it as a universal application. So to do that what you need to do you need to use this ng add and then ng toolkit sorry for the type ng toolkit slash and then universal so 
once you do that your application will be converted as an angular universal application and all the required configuration it will add for you okay so we are done uh, so right now you can see like many files has been generated if you see that like what all new files has been generated like it's been updated local js has been created angular json has been modified so all these things has been updated through uh, the schematics of ng toolkit uh, the next thing is ng toolkit also provides a automated configuration for serverless application to be deployed in aws or if you want it to be deployed in firebase it also provides that so let's install that as well so to do that we'll use the same thing ng add command and then ng toolkit and this time we'll be using serverless and then the parameter will be provided as aws this time so to know it better a particular serverless can application in aws will generate two files one is the lambda.js and another one is serverless.yml file your yml file uh, which holds all the required configuration and what all things is required for your application so maybe it's a microservice or it's in web application so all those configuration and this ng toolkit serverless schematics actually read your configuration of project configuration and it's generate automatically those configuration for you although one thing i noticed like if you are already having an universal projects or sometimes it will give you some error uh, so i've seen some of the user already reported those error in their uh, in the developers uh, github page like sometimes it can show you uh, tell you like the server.ts is already available and it cannot override this so apart from that actually this toolkit is pretty good to add all these things uh, for you so so i say it's done so you can see this lambda.js file has been added and another file is serverless.yml uh, so before uh, deploying these things let me see like what this lambda.js has been added all this configuration so you can see it's uh, added aws serverless express and it's also required some module called aws serverless express middleware module and it also defines some binary mime types for your application uh, files for an example you might you your project have javascript json and then xml jpeg png gif and all those kind of what all binary mime types you have to uh, support so those mime types has been defined here and then uh, it's uh, created a server proxy and express.create server it's create the server.app so and uh, and the last it's actually exported your module as universal and this server.yml it's have a configuration like it's exclude all the module and then uh, include one by one and it also have uh, uh, things is handler lambda.universal which has been exported into uh, exported from your uh, lambda.js so now let's uh, do go, go to into our package.json file so you will be able to see it's also at ng toolkit added some of the script for you so uh, build serverless and deploy so this is the scripts we are looking for which should build and then uh, from the dist folder it should deploy your application so just npm run and then this one so it should build your application create the disk directory and then create the serverless package and then it should upload that package to s3 amazon s3 services and then uh, it will also use your lambda disk and serverless ml to assign those resources for you uh, for your application and it should provide you the url where it's actually pointed so you can see your application running so let's wait for uh, for the build and deploy 
so now it started deploying so serverless it's packaging so it's also excluding the development dependencies so if you see like when you have deep dependencies and only dependencies so that means the deep dependencies are only dependencies which have which uh, is used for your development purpose but when you are deploying this application to for production you don't need that so that same thing is happening here so it's excluding your development dependencies altogether so now it's creating stack yep so it's done as you can see it's actually uh, provided uh, the the endpoint here so if you just click any of this item so just open one you can you should see our application and angular application the server side application has been deployed and if you see view page source you can see it's actually a universal application